Hallelujah. And blessed be his kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Blessed Lord and Father, we have assembled in your name and in fellowship with one another. Enable us by your grace to offer the sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving, to proclaim and respond to your holy word. Teach us to pray for your world and your church. Grant that we, confessing our sins, may worthily offer to you our souls and bodies as a living sacrifice and eat and drink of your spiritual food in this holy sacrament. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, a Lamb of God, you are the You take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. The Collect for Sixth Sunday of Easter. O oh God, you have prepared for those who love you such good things as surpasses our understanding. Pour into our hearts such love towards you that we loving you in all things and above all things, may obtain your promises, which exceed all that we can desire through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, whose Son, Jesus Christ, in his earthly life, shared our toil and hallowed our labor, be present with all your people where they work. Make those who carry on the industries and commerce of this land responsive to your will. And give us all a pride in what we do and a just return for our labor. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We now invite Sonia to lead us in the reading of the first lesson. A reading from the Word of God, written in Acts chapter 17, verse 22 to 31. Then Paul stood in the midst of the Areopagus and said, Men of Athens, I perceive that in all things you are very religious. For as I was passing through and considering the objects of your worship, I even found an altar with this inscription, to the unknown God. Therefore, the one whom you worship, without knowing him, knowing him I proclaim to you, God who made the world and everything in it, since he is Lord of heaven and earth, does not dwell in temples made with hands, nor is he worshipped with men's hands, as though he needed anything, mm -hmm. since he gave to all life, breath, and all things. And he has, made for, one, he has made for one blood every nation mm -hmm. of men to dwell on all the face of the earth, and has determined their pre-appointed time and the boundaries of their dwelling. So that they should yeah, seek the Lord in the hope that they might grow for him 
and find him. Yeah. Though he is not far from each one of us. For in him, we live yeah. and move and have our being. As also yeah. some own poets yeah. have said, <coughs> we are also his offspring. Therefore, since we are the offspring of God, we ought not to think that the divine nature is like gold or silver or stone, something shaped by art and man's devising. Truly, these things of ignorance God overlooked, but now commands all men everywhere to repent, because he has appointed a day on which he will judge the world in righteousness by the man whom he ordained. He has given assurance to all this to all by raising him from the dead. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We now great. invite Edwin to lead us in the psalm. But before we do, I would like to remind all of us to please keep our mics muted. Edwin. Okay, Edwin, we have a volunteer. Psalm, Psalm 66, verses seven, 7 to 18. Psalm 66, verses 7 to 18. Blessed O God, you peoples, make the voice of his praise to be heard, who holds our souls in life and will not allow our feet to slip. For you, O God, have proved us. You have tried us just as silver is tried. You brought us into the snare. You laid heavy burdens upon our backs. You let enemies ride over our heads. We went through fire and water. But you brought us out into a place of refreshment. I will enter your house with burnt offerings and will pay you my vows. Which I promised my, with my lips and spoke with my mouth when I was in trouble. I will offer you sacrifices of fat beef with the smoke of rams. I will give you oxen and goats. Come and listen, all who, who fear God, and I will tell you what He has done for me. I called out to him with my mouth and his praise was on my throat. If I had found evil in my heart, the Lord would not have heard me. But in truth, God has heard me. He has attended to the voice of my prayer. Blessed be God who has not rejected my prayer nor withheld his love from me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, it is now, and shall be forever. Amen. <laughs> Cynthia, please mute your mic. Deacon will now lead us in the gospel. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. If you love me, you will keep my commandments. And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate to be with you forever. This is the spirit of truth 
whom the world cannot receive, but it neither sees him nor knows him. You know him because he abides with you and he will be, with, be in you. I will not leave you often. I am coming to you. In a little while, the world will no longer see me, but you will see me because I live, you also will live. On that day, you will know that I am in my Father, and you in me, and I in you. They who have my commandments and keep them are those who love me, and those who love me will be loved by my Father, and I will love them and reveal myself to them. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to Christ our Lord. As I began, I indicated today is Rogation Sunday. Rogation means to act. And so we look today at asking. What are we asking for? Of whom are we asking it? And his response. I personally have trouble asking. The greatest joy for me is a job well done by myself, knowing that I have been able to accomplish whatever task that I have set my hands to. The most tormenting time for me is to encounter difficulties, to have to turn to someone else and say, help me. This leaves in me a sense of helplessness, a sense of not being able to accomplish. I am sure I am not alone in this emotion. I know that for many of us, we too would like to see a job straight through from its inception in our minds to the complete product. And yes, perhaps receive some compliment on a job well done. However, this is against human design. It is counter to what we were made as. Think of ourselves from childhood to old age. Think of ourselves in our current predicament, where we have heard the prime minister caution and admonish us that we must be prepared for a 60-40 dynamic, where 60% of us will be doing for 40. What about the other 40? How do we feel? What is our circumstances deemed like when we must wait upon, depend upon, when we must ask another to do? Someone has their mic on, please mute it. Thank you. We were made to live in community from childhood, infancy. We depend upon our parents to feed, to clothe, to educate. We depend upon society to teach us norms of interaction. And so right to the end, we depend upon those around. And for this depending, to truly be meaningful, we must act. This Rogation Sunday and Rogation Tide, because it runs this week until Wednesday, our time of asking. We are reminded in scriptures today what it is and how we are to act. Acts 17 shows us this on a basic level. The Athenian, Athenians saw the need for the unknown God. They recognized that even in their pantheon of all the religious leaders, all those they recognize as being the God of sun, sea, moon, stars, sky, trees, whatever. 
they may have missed one. And so they erected a god, a statue rather, to an unknown god. Paul personalized this unknown god as the true god who loves and cares for us and upon whom we can depend. It is this unknown God who makes all things real for us and who reveals himself to us through all the other things. Our human nature falters, causes us to fail, leads us into trying times where we must act, we must shout out. But to whom do we shout out? We shout out to God, God who gives us his new and divine nature in Christ, God who allows us to share in all his goodness and godliness if we but act. God shares himself with us and in doing so enables us to be complete, to be made whole. The earth in the beginning was here without form and void, yet God spoke, and it was made perfect. Psalm 66 reaffirms this truth, the truth of our dependence upon God. According to verse 8, this God holds our souls and our lives in his hands, and he will not allow our feet to slip. God sets the guardrails on our lives and our situations. He gives us, as we're reminded elsewhere, no more than we're able to bear. The life we share is enabled and given to us by God. God does this by answering our prayer, according to verse 18. God hears our needs and he responds. How? does he respond? He responds in love and offers his constant love to us. John 14 speaks of this love. This is the love, this love rather is the hallmark of our relationship with God. We love and follow Jesus, or rather God loves and sends his son Jesus who loves us. We follow Jesus and keep his commands. Jesus stays with us and shows us whatever, gives us whatever we ask that is needful of us. But he does this by asking of the Father, who in his love gives us more love. This is the cycle, the circle of life we celebrate. This is what our asking is all about. Our asking is about receiving from the hand of God what is needed. So in our receiving love, we share this love with others. And the world is perpetuated. This rogation tide, as we ask God for success in our crops, in our industry, in all modes and means of human interaction, we specifically ask him to look into our circumstances and we ask him for a return and a revision of our lives. Not that we carry on as we did in the past, but that we learn from this experience and we share God in a new way with each other. We become more patient. We become more tolerant, understanding. In essence, that we become more loving. And so we pray for our growth and development as a people. We pray for our tourism industry and its related partnerships. We remember those in our immediate environs. We pray for the airport, the industrial park. We pray for governmental agencies all in our district and in our wider society that they may flourish. And in their flourishing, we all flourish and increase. 
We pray for our banking and financial concerns that they will be able to assist us in building a new society. We pray for ourselves that we manage our resources and that we be our brother's keeper, sharing what we have with those who do not have. We particularly remember the medical profession and pray for a quick remediation and eventual cure of this COVID-19. We pray for protection of, upon each medical personnel and all of us as we move about society, that we, being mindful of our circumstances, seek to limit the spread and the contact among us. We pray for a return and a renewed employment opportunities for all of us. We pray for those who are in doubtful or stressful circumstances that God will allow them to raise their heads up and achieve that sense of well-being and accomplishment. We pray for humanity, that we achieve a greater sense of brotherhood and reliance on each other and on our God. This rogation tide, we trust our God and we ask him to strengthen us and may our trust and faith in him grow more and more as we believe and proclaim him to all we encounter as God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. We say the Apostles' Creed on page 106. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated on the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the, re the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We now invite Anthony to lead us in the intercessions. Morning. I just got an intercession time. Yes, please. Let us pray. Into your hands, O oh Lord, we commend ourselves this day. Let your precious, let your presence be with us. Strengthen us to remember that in whatever good we work we do, we are serving you. We pray for our church leaders. Lord Jesus. You have chosen your clergy from among us. Strengthen them that they may deliver your words in a way that is holy and pleasing to you. We pray that your powers will awaken a light through their prayers that they may continue to be good shepherds to us all. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all ministries and organizations. Lord, grant all of them the courage and strong faith to continually serve you and your people in truth and sincerity. Lord, hear our prayer. Pray. Prayer for our families and parishioners. Blessed Lord, your gracious mercy is a source of all goodness. Accept these fervent prayers of your people have mercy and compassion on us, 
as we bring before you our Shate members and all others who are sick. We remember at this time, Elridge, Victor, Wilmot, and David. Stretch out your healing hands to touch them and release them from their sickness. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our country and the world. Lord, as we and the rest of the world is suffering from the coronavirus, Heavenly Father, come to us when all around us seems dark and uncertain. When our faith is low and we cannot feel you near, and we sometimes find it hard to pray. Lord, come into our presence as you came to your disciples in the night. Let the light of your presence dispel our fears. Renew and trust and bring peace to our hearts. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for those persons celebrating birthdays and anniversaries at this time and hope that they would have a blessed day. We give thanks also to those who are in the valley of bereavement. Lord, hear our prayer. Amen. Some of our prayers with the prayer our Savior has taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. We now invite Deacon Michael to lead us in the act of penance. The act of penitence is found on page one, two, three. If we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, God is faithful and just, and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Let us confess our sins using form A. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and one another in thought, word, and deed, and in what we have left undone. We are sorry and repent of all our sins. For your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, forgive us all that is past and grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy upon you. Pardon and deliver you from all your sins. Confirm and strengthen you in all goodness and keep you in life eternal through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We are the body of Christ. By the one spirit, we were all baptized into one body and have all been made to drink of the one spirit. Let us then pursue the things that make for peace and build up the common life. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Again, I welcome all of you who are able to join us this morning, and I apologize for the late start and the technical difficulties we encountered. Nevertheless, through the wonders of science and the miracles of technology, we are once again able to celebrate and share our God. Today, we wish a special happy birthday this week to Idel Gittins, Beverly Rowe, Jean Burton, Velda Morris, Jacqueline Pilgrim, and Sharon Pierce. To those whose names I may not have, I trust that you also have I a wonderful that week, birthday week, and that you know. share God's goodness with those around. Yeah. Please mute your mic. But I saw a picture. 
okay. Yeah, my name there. Also, as we heard in our intercessions, we continue to pray. We got the volume. I will go do you one. I put my phone here. We can pray for the sick among us. I can turn off that. David Morrison and all others known and unknown to us. Also, at this time, pray for the family of Miriam Morris as they mourn her passing, and we as a church community. Yeah, I can hear God continue to strengthen her, her family, us, the church family at this time. We thank I personally thank all of you who were able to come by and bring your offerings and tithes this week and ask that we continue to do what we can for God's goodness and his church. We are aware that it is rough times for many and we are unable to do as we would like and have been used to, but God will strengthen you during this time. Also, for those who donated items, we thank you and we ask that all who are able to please, as you move about, to collect items and then bring them at a time announced to the church so that we can distribute. I thank you all for your participation. I love you all and pray that God continue to strengthen each and every one of us. I now ask Deacon Michael to bring greetings, give us the dismissal, and then we will hear another selection, thanks to Horace, and then we will be able to greet each other across the wonders of technology. Good morning, everyone. I greet you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. And pray that you all have a blessed week. And as Father said, as remember, Rogation Sunday. And this, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think this is a, this is a week of prayer, right, Father? I think so, for Rogation. Yes. Yeah. So, um, so I think we could use this Rogation period, which normally runs for a week. Each day we could use this as a to pray for something else or, or an aspect in our lives. Um, and all of the things that, that Father said we could pray for, like um, pray for end of this disease, we pray for our own personal health, we pray for our families, we pray for, you know me, I like to pray for food. So, you know, we could pray for these different things. All right, um, but make it meaningful and, and intentional. Right, so that's just my little thing for today. So the Lord be with you, also with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Go in peace and serve the Lord in the name of Christ. Amen. Once again, we will listen to. Another rogation song, and then I will open the mics for us to greet one another.
again and again. Because one day, I had a red phone on a um, thing. Find that holy. Start lit, but just the dark. Start when you start on time, but start lit because he put up lit, he would get her a D. So who ain't got his number would not, who or not, who was out would not get him. So that's where they start coming. Alright, have a good day. Everything, are you as always we thank Horace for his contributions and I will be sending out the clip of those selections shortly we now take this time to greet one another remember we not all speak at once Already had it. Thanks. Uh -huh. We can share our greetings. Also, remember the diocesan service at nine. A blessed and spirit-filled morning to the church. God bless you all. I love you. Take care. Morning. This is the Okay, if there's no one else. You do all have a wonderful week. Remember, our Bible study group meets on Wednesday at 8. Thank you. God's blessing. Yes. Hope that we will soon be together again. Yes. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. I'm looking forward to that time. As am I. Amen. A blessed good morning, everyone. Mm -hmm. Have a safe week. Morning, Captain. Thank you. Morning. It's a